What's taking so long? Just because he's from the city, it doesn't mean he'll make it better. He'll make her better. I know he will. Doctor! What's the matter? Don't you know what's wrong? I think I do, Heidi. Then you can make her better, can't you? He's lived a long time, Heidi. He's very old. She's not as strong as she used to be. I know, I know. But that's why she needs your help. Yes, but some things, Heidi, even with all the medicine in the world, they're... they're out of our hands. But... she has to get better. You have to fix her. No, Heidi. no, let her go. Grandmother? Grandmother? You're not, child. What's all this? The doctor. He, he's... Yes. I have a good feeling about this doctor. Oh, I'm glad you brought him here. Child, it's a natural thing, Di. It's part of living. When it's time, you move on, that's all. As long as there are people who remember, people carry you in their hearts Why you're not gone. So you have to do that for me, Heidi. You'll have to remember me. Oh, that there's something else, too. Something you must promise. What? You have a gift, Heidi. Way of touching the people around you. Of helping them. Bringing joy. <laughs> oh, but it can be a curse, too. Because it can use you up until there's nothing left. Nothing for yourself. So promise me, no matter how hard, Promise to look deep inside and find out who you are. Hold on to it, Heidi. No matter what. Now, do you understand what I'm saying, John? to earth and dust to dust. We are gathered here, family and friends, to say our last goodbyes to our beloved Mary, to speed her on her journey to God's kingdom in heaven. She will be remembered by all as a devoted mother and a loving grandmother. And as we reflect upon Mary's life, we think about our own lives as well. And we lift our sorrowing hearts rejoicing in the power of the Lord to ease our troubled souls. Amen. Amen. We get uh, one of the head, he'll turn around and let us be. Grandfather. Tobias! Grandfather. All right, all right. What is it? Oh, nothing. It's, uh, it's just that when I saw you through the trees, I couldn't help remembering the old days when you weren't such a stranger to us. It's ancient history. 
Oh, not so ancient. Brigitte's told me about Heidi, but she'll be leaving soon. Oh? No. For your own sake, Tobias, don't be alone again. Come back to us. I don't need your sympathies, Pastor. As far as Heidi leaving, it's none of your concern. What? It's right. Who? The pastor. Him? He hadn't been right in 30 years. But it's true. <sighs> After I'm gone, you'll be alone again. I've always been alone. Mindfeld, it won't take much longer now. Hello! Hello, Fel Sessman. Oh, Welcome to Mindfeld. Will Good I see to her see today? You. No, no, but tomorrow, when we all go up the mountain. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, but is, is this all yours? Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. Well, you certainly didn't expect us to come out here to the hinterlands unprepared, did you? No, 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 of course not. <laughs> But where is Herr Sessman? He didn't come with you. It couldn't be helped business, but he'll join us as soon as he can. I found a carriage. Oh, good, 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 good. But oh, I'm afraid I think that we shall need two of them. Oh, uh, yes, uh, allow me to make introductions. Uh, Frau Sessman, Fräulein Rottenmeier, Clara. This is the wonderful Brigitte whom I've told you so much about. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, I see why you look so healthy, Doctor. The climate obviously agrees with you here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, and I'm sure that even Clara will benefit from all this 